Hi everyone and welcome to May's members video. Today we have Wes updating us on course matters and Amber making her first appearance on the video updating us on golf operations and social events. Before I turn to them, I wanted to update you on some improvements that have been completed since I last spoke to you. Firstly, the locker room corridor has now been completed. Um, please take your time to look at the wonderful black and white pictures that adorn the walls. They were all taken at Moor Park Golf Club and show some of the amazing tournaments that we've hosted and the amazing golfing celebrities and professionals. The terrace furniture has been out for a couple of weeks now and we are expecting the parasols to arrive in the next few days, which will just be in time for the lovely weather that is forecasted. The road improvements, including the new passing areas, have now been completed, bar a few potholes which will be completed in the next week or so. A note on our casual dining menu, our specials are changing this week and they will be a bruschetta with avocado and tomatoes, fish cakes and lamb koftas. These will go alongside our new main specials, which are currently being created in the kitchen. Before asking Wes to speak about the course, I just wanted to add a special note of congratulations to our operations manager, Nico Fortuna, who has recently celebrated his 30 years of service at the club. This is an amazing achievement and our heartfelt thanks goes to him for all of his passion and dedication to the club over the many years. Thank you, Amy. In the last update, I noted the strategy on the extensive top dressing regime undertaken on the greens. I'm pleased to report, following Adam Newton, the RNA agronomist visit, at the end of April, the work done in March and April to break up the surface thatch is paying dividends, and our greens are in excellent health. We will continue our regular regime of a light top dressing and aeration program throughout the season. With the health of the greens in good shape and the soil temperatures warming up, we are now able to improve the fusarium scars we suffer from the mild winter. The team have applied top dressing and seed to the scars. With the lack of rain in the forecast, we applied a wetting agent to the greens and surrounds. This helps retain moisture in the leaf and roots. We also applied a granular feed to the greens and surrounds, which will increase and thicken the grass coverage and improve the playability around the greens and aid recovery of the fusarium scars. To further improve uh, the lies surrounding the greens, the team have divoted the green surrounds and approaches on both courses. Now the soil temperatures have risen. In the middle of April, we double overseeded the 9th, 11th and 18th of high, as well as the 16th of west with bent seed. We have recently added rope drainage to these greens and as a result, had, they had the weakest grass coverage. The seedlings are now becoming visible and is strengthening the green coverage and continuing our medium to long-term strategy of increasing the bent sward. To supplement the greens health and playability in the winter months, we are already planning adding rope drainage to a further six greens in the autumn and an additional sanding and aeration program called Dryject. More on Dryject in future updates. Despite the warm few days over Easter, April was very much cold and dry. As we moved into May, the soil temperatures have risen and you will have noticed growth around the rough and the fairways with the white poa seed coming to the surfaces. We are aiming to apply a granular feed to the fairways when we have consistent band of rain forecast, which will further improve the coverage and thickness of our sward. Following a national shortage, I am pleased to report the buck brick sand was delivered last week and the bunkers on the high have been topped up, and sand depths have also been measured. I am delighted to announce Billy Sullivan has joined our Greens team. Billy recently completed his Level 2 apprenticeship and is looking to further his career in greenkeeping at Moor Park. If you are keen to read more on the Agronomist Report, you can find this on our members' website under Golf, Course Information and then Course Reports. Now I'm going to pass you over to Amber. Thank you, Wes. Alongside the new addition of Ollie, our Assistant Golf Operations Manager, Harry has joined us as a Golf Operations Assistant. He has recently completed an International Business and Golf degree. We also have Cameron joining us in June as a Golf Operations Assistant who has just completed the AGMS degree at Birmingham University. We thank you for your patience while we awaited our delivery of range balls that have been delayed since January. The good news is we're expecting delivery this week, so we will have a full stock of range balls for the season ahead from the end of this week. 
The golf operations team which we've been creating and continue to build across the season will be the drive behind managing the range and ensuring it is presented and maintained each day. Open qualifying will take place on Monday the 20th of June after being delayed for two years. We are very excited to finally play host. We are recruiting volunteers currently and if you are interested, please speak to Penny Kaywood or email myself and I can pass on your interest to Penny. We've had some wonderful social events over the past few months, from jazz night, poker night, and most recently, tapas night with a flamenco dancer. We have our Greek alfresco evening and souls and blues night coming up very soon, which are all now sold out, unfortunately, but we hope all the members who managed to get a ticket really enjoy those evenings. Captain's Day will also be opening for golf and tables on Friday the 20th of May at 4 p.m. We're expecting it to be very popular, so please be sure to book quickly so you don't miss out. It will follow the same format as the last two years, with two shotguns on either golf course, a tennis tournament at the same time, followed by an afternoon of entertainment in the gardens, hoping the weather permits, but we do have a backup plan. Also, watch out for an upcoming social update for events such as Family Day, the return of Games and Grill, and our Sunday barbecue. Thank you, Wes and Amber and all of you for watching and we look forward to speaking to you next month.